Hello and welcome to this video series How to Produce Your First Website with Blue Griffin presented by Easier Internet Marketing. I'm Graham Bray and in the first in this video series I explained to you what a web editor was and we also downloaded the Blue Griffin software. In this second video I want to help become more familiar with the Blue Griffin software so what we're going to do is have a guided tour through the site and explain to you what each part does. So let's dive straight in. OK, so here we are in Blue Griffin. Let's have a little look around now and see what we can do in this. First of all, these drop down menus at the top, if you've ever used um, Word or similar programs, then lots of these will be pretty familiar to you. Let's just have a look at see what we've got. So uh, we've drop down File and we've got New. Let's click on New. And what this does opens a new um, page here we can start working with. Edit is the common things you might see, such as cut, copy, paste, delete. View, um, all tags mode. Now this will show you the tags being used. This is more for advanced work, so we're not going to worry about this at the moment. Insert, again, lots of this is quite familiar. Image, table, link. Um, anchor is anchor text you can produce links to, which again we will cover in a future video. Format, lots of these are to do with um, the font, for example, bold, italic, underline. And if you say if you used um, this program before, these will be quite familiar to you. Now, table is a really, really important one. We'll be using this quite a bit in the next couple of videos. These next few are more advanced of panels and tools, are things we're not going to get involved at this stage, so we'll pass from those. Now, help. Um, currently, there is no readily available support available from Blue Griffin, so uh, hence the importance these videos. Now, these in the second. Um, Bar here. What we've got here are some shortcuts. These are very, very familiar, familiar to you. So look at the first one, and we've got there page and new tab. So we click on that, and what happens? It brings up a second page here to be working with. I'm going to close that one down so we've got one at a time. You could do it in a new window, but um, what we can do is always stay in a new tab. Okay, this one opens an existing project may have going at the moment. Then we've got um, the save icon, then a discard icon as well. Here we've got a shortcut to loading your table. And this one here is a shortcut to um, adding an image. Let's put some text in. I've got some text I uh, produced earlier. Let's put some text in here. Okay. So we've got some text. And now let's try putting an image, show what it looks like. So let's um, insert an image. Let's, uh, let's browse. And let's go, let's find my graphics folder. And let's pick up. Um, Pick up the B flower, shall we? There we go, let's insert that. Okay, I'll show you all these things at later video, so don't worry at this stage. Just rushing through this. So there we've got a bit of text um, and a picture there that we imported using the image. Anchor text, we'll explain in a future video, um, is linked to this icon here, which is called a hyperlink. So here we can put a link in to another page and document or um, another document on the web, wherever you want to use it. Now these icons here are for more advanced work, so we're not going to waste any time here going into detail. Um, CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheets, and we've also got here SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphics. Let's say these are pretty advanced features, so we're not going to touch these at this early stage. This um, icon enables you to insert a video, and similarly this one here, to insert an audio file. And largely this one here allows you to insert forms. Now this button here is a very, very important button. This allows you to actually click and preview your site. Let's click on that in a second. And give, give the uh, whole page a title. Let's call it um, ST1. OK, going to save it there. And now this is, we're now looking at it as we'd see it on the, on the web. So this is as we see it live. Let's close it down. OK. Now the next row here, lots of these you're familiar with. Um, this is emphasis, super emphasis. Then you've got here the various things, bold, italic, underline, and the various things you might see in a publisher or WordPress document. Now the only thing I want to show at this point is down here. Um, what you've got here is the WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG shows you exactly what you can see on the screen, and the source actually shows you the code behind this. Let's click on source a second. Now this is the HTML code that lies behind all this stuff. Now you don't need to worry yourself at all about this. We're not going to be using this, so uh, let's stick with what we know, which is WYSIWYG. And there's WYSIWYG. Okay, well that's um, 
a very very rapid overview of the blue griffin screen um, we'll be touching on lots of these in future videos so um, in the next video I'll actually be showing you how to lay out your page thanks for watching this video produced by easier internet marketing I'll be back with you again very soon bye bye for now